Hey y'all, Farmer Kevin here. I'm out here with Shiva and Ganesh. We're doing our little tire pull, getting some exercise on this kind of nice uh, wet spring day. We've gotten a little bit of rain over the last couple days and um, it's actually been really nice. Um, we kind of went from really wet to really dry really quickly this spring. And it was kind of an abrupt change and it made me feel a little bit panicky because um, I'm running around then like, oh my gosh, do I gotta get irrigation set up for the summer and all this stuff. And it's about a month earlier than I usually. And um, so, you know, we've had about a half inch yesterday, getting about a half inch today, which is just perfect. Just a nice little light spring rain. Grass is green. You can kind of see it's just this, uh, you know, welcoming, absorptive sponge, um, utilizing all the water. And uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a it feels good. You know, we've got these our pastures. I kind of think of them as these big, you know sponges for solar energy, sponges for water, sponges for chemical activity. You know, we've got the whole, you know, system going and, you know, what's open to the sky are the pastures. And so all the things that come from the sky, the the sun and the rain and the wind and the, you know, all of the things that come from the animals, the manure, and the impact. All of these are signals that increase the growth of the grass and subsequently the gas exchange from the atmosphere and then the chemical exchange and the microbiotic you know, exchange of the roots and the fungus and the, you know, all of the mycelial pathways and the whole big amazing ecological dance that happens out here in the fields. Um, and it's just a beautiful representation of what can be is this, you know, beautiful dance with nature. And I love being a part of it. I love seeing it. I love being witness to it um, and encouraging it. There are things there are things that humans can do that hinder and that, and there are things that humans can do that help, you know, um, some of our tools are great, you know, and they're neither good nor bad. They just are. And you know, it's a lot of times comes down to how we use the tools that we're given, you know, how we're using the tools of animal impact and, you know, the technology that we can use to apply you know, mowing and fertilization and um, pest control and all of those things, you know, granted, I think some of them are just plain bad, but oftentimes it has to do with the way that we use it, you know, um, you know, the kind of the common refrain right now is, is it's not the cow, it's the how, you know, it's not necessarily cattle are the problem. It's that the way in which, you know, we're using cows, that's the problem, you know? It's the way, or the way that we're not using the cows. You know, sometimes it's the inaction that is actually a bit more of a big issue than the actual action that we're implying, impl impl you know, applying. So, um, just think about that as we're out there is, you know, there's this beautiful, you know, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, springtime is a time full of hope and new beginnings and growth and all the wonderful things that happen in the spring season. And right now, you know, we get to be a part of that and be a part of that ma magnificent dance. And so you get to decide. How are you gonna be a part of that dance? Are you gonna be, you know, a wallflower sitting on the side? 
or are you gonna get up and get over your fears and go up and ask to dance with mother nature? Um, because ultimately that's where we get to be, you know, good partners is we learn to dance, we learn to walk, we learn to, to move and to bend and adapt and hear the music and go, walk with the rhythm. So just remember these little musings. Um, I'm enjoying my little pasture walk today out in the rain with the boys and I hope you are too. Um, go down below, subscribe to our channel, um, follow us on social media. You can follow these guys, Shake Fork Oxen. Um, also follow uh, Melanie, my wife's account, Shake, Shake Fork Community Farm, um, for more farmy content. And uh, enjoy. Have a good, wonderful spring day.